In this episode, I am going to show you how to download Genymotion and how to install it and how to configure Genymotion with Android Studio. So first, you have to download the Genymotion. So open your browser and type Genymotion. Go to the first website. This is the official website of Genymotion. You can download Genymotion from this website. So here you can see there are two options are available for downloading Genymotion. First one is a Genymotion is about 170 MB of size and second one is get Genymotion without VirtualBox. To run Genymotion you need to install Oracle VirtualBox in your computer. So if you already have Oracle VirtualBox in your computer you can select the second option and if you don't have Oracle VirtualBox in your computer then select the first option. This is Genymotion with Oracle VirtualBox. So here I am going to download this one. Okay, so to download Genymotion from this website you have to create an account on this website. You can create an account by just clicking the create account button. You have to provide a username, you have to provide a valid email address and you have to create a profile in this website to download Genymotion. I already have an account in this website so I am going to log in here. Okay, soon after you log in on in this website your download will start. Here you can see my download is started. Okay, now here we got the Genymotion installer. So now I am going to install Genymotion. So right double click the Genymotion installer icon. Yeah, run this one, run this. Click OK. Click Next. And this is the Genymotion installation path. And click Next. Yeah, again this is the name provided on the startup menu and click next next now create a desktop icon again click next now click install Okay, now the Genymotion installation is completed. Now it's installing the Oracle VirtualBox. Yeah, click next and next. Create a desktop icon. Click next. Yeah, this warning is nothing but when you installing the Oracle VirtualBox, it may create some virtual adapter. This may interfere your network connections of your computer. Don't worry, just click yes and click install. Okay, now the Oracle VirtualBox installation is complete and click finish. Now the Oracle VirtualBox is started. Now we can launch the Genymotion and click finish. Now here the Genymotion virtual device started, virtual device manager started. So at first time if you install Genymotion for the first time it will ask to download some virtual device. You have to download some virtual device from the cloud. So now here there are no virtual device available in this computer because in this computer I am I installing Genymotion for the first time. So click yes. So here yeah you need to sign in again for downloading virtual devices. So here I'm going to sign in again. Okay after the successful signing you can see a lot of virtual devices now currently available on the cloud. You can select any suitable one. So here I am going to download a virtual device with some API 20. Yeah, 
yeah I select a virtual device with the API yeah this one custom phone with the Android version 4.4 yeah select this one and click next now here you can see the properties of the virtual device and click next now the virtual device is downloading from the cloud now this virtual device is about 197 MB of size you have to wait until the download complete okay now the downloading is completed and now it's deploying the virtual device okay now the virtual device installation and creation is success and click finish now in this in this window you can see the newly created virtual device here a custom phone is a custom phone virtual device is created with uh, resolution 768 into 1280 okay you can configure the virtual device by clicking this icon you can configure the virtual device you can select the number of processors here I'm going to select only one processor and here you can select the memory here I set it into 1 GB and here is the resolution of the screen ok and click OK uh, now here I'm going to start the virtual device for starting the virtual device just click the start button now the virtual device is initialized and it is start the virtual device okay now the newly created Genymotion virtual device is started wait for some time it is booted it is booting okay now the virtual device is completely loaded you can see that it is three or four times much faster than a normal Android virtual device you can you can test your Android application uh, three to four times faster than a normal Android virtual device available with Android SDK okay now the journey motion installation and the virtual device creation is completed now we have to configure the journey motion with Android studio so now this is the time to open Android studio I just close all the virtual devices now I'm going to start Android studio okay now we have to download the journey motion plugin into Android studio so the Android studio is already a built-in option to download the journey motion plugins so click the file of file menu and choose the settings option and from this window drag down and choose the plugin option choose plugin options you can find it at the bottom yeah here it is click the plugin option and in the search box sorry now go to bottom of the window and here you can see a button called the browse for repositories and click that button okay in this window search for Jenny motion okay now you can find uh, find the Jenny motion plugin here it is not installed this is an option for downloading and installing Jenny motion so right click it and click download and install option and click yes now it installed Jenny motion now the installation of Jenny motion plugin completed and click plus okay now here you can see the Jenny motion now here in the installed plugin you can see the Jenny motion so you have to restart Android, Android Studio to take the Jenny motion plugin to work so I have, it, I have to restart Android Studio now click apply yeah now it asks for restarting Android Studio yeah click restart now the IDE is restarted
Okay, now we successfully installed the Genymotion plugin with Android Studio. Now, at the toolbar you can see an icon of Genymotion. Here is the Genymotion device manager. Click that one. Okay, now you have to specify the installation directory of Genymotion. So we have to find it out. So it is generally installed in C drive. So go to C drive. Uh, generally it is installed in program files so open program files and you can find out a folder named Jenny Mobile yeah here it is so you can find this folder in C drive and in program files open this this is the installation directory of Jenny Motion you have to set this path in Android Studio so open Android Studio now select any motion now you have to browse for the path so click browse it is available in C drive in program files in program files there is a folder named Jenny mobile open that folder and select the folder called the Jenny motion and click OK and click apply now click OK now I select the Jenny Motion device manager again. Now here you can see that now the newly created Jenny Motion virtual device is here. You can see it in Android Studio. It the status is now off. So I am going to start the newly created Android virtual device from Android Studio. So click start. The Jenny Motion virtual device is now starting from Android Studio. Yeah, now we got the Jenny Motion virtual device in Android Studio. Now you can test the project done in Android Studio using Jenny Motion. It is three to four times much faster than a normal Android virtual device available with an, the available with the Android SDK. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.